Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. May I have your attention please? Let's make a fresh start. IELTS speaking part 1. Now what happens in IELTS speaking part 1? Sometimes some students are fainted in part 1. And even before part 1 they are shivering and all that. Okay, let me tell you IELTS is just a speaking test, listening test, reading, writing test. So just take it easy. For speaking, yes, there can be a lot of pressure. You go to their office and then there is that invigilator. Then there is the examiner. They open the door. They lock you there. Okay. <laughs> so there can be some pressure built about this IELTS speaking and all that. The first thing is, if possible, go with someone. Don't go alone. If you are uh, easily panicked, or if you have anxiety or any issue like that, never go alone. Okay, you can take a friend. Uh, I mean, you can take mother, father, brother, sister, anyone. But don't go alone if you have uh, this confidence problem. But if you are confident enough, go alone. I went alone two times. Okay, yeah. So uh, this is the first thing. After that, when they start the test, before that, they have some protocols. Like they will ask you your name, your ID and all that you don't need any stationery and mobile phones wrist watches nothing is allowed in speaking as well so try to go without anything just you should have your ID document with you and that's more than enough right now you enter the room examiner will check your ID and say are you ready you say yes I'm ready but if you're not ready if you've got fast heartbeat or sometimes you know you're sweating so you can Take a minute from the examiner. You can say, Madam, can I have some water? They will give you some water, no problem. But you may uh, demand lemonade as well. Thoda limu paadeo, halki ji khand paadeo. Sugar level low, wap ho jayega. So, they can be anything like that. But they will give you water. And if you need a minute, sometimes, you know, you're not ready. Like, you are out of breath. Like that. You, sometimes you got to walk up the stairs and all that. So then you can take a minute from them. Don't allow them to start the test unless you are ready. Even they can do this thing as well. They say, uh, well, I need five minutes. My heart is pondering. My heart is beating fast. Then they will make you sit outside and try to reach there half hour before. When you see other candidates being slaughtered, you will be confident. <laughs> Have you seen one episode of Mr. Bean? When Mr. Bean goes to learn karate. And the karate trainer throws one person, right? And then Mr. Bean is sitting the next person, the next person, the next person. So if you go there early, you will see other people coming and going. And they will just tell you something. After 15 to 20 minutes, you will be very much familiar with the environment. Okay? So try to go there half hour earlier than your reporting time. Okay, you'll be fine. Now, once you enter, there is no marking criteria for suit, dressing. If you have tie, half band more. Shoes are polished, one band more. Nice hairstyle, two band. Okay, so it's, there is no marking criteria for clothes, dressing, body language, how you look on that day. There is no marking criteria. Whatever you normally wear, that's fine when you go outside. Okay. Then, examiner is going to ask you this first question. Do you work or study? Very important. After your name. And the name question is not marked. They say, what's your name? My name is Asad Yaqub. Half band yours, sir. Now, let's ask another question and then we'll give you more band. Not like this, okay? So, it's very, very simple. When they say, do you work or study? They just want to categorize you. They want to know whether you are a student or you are a professional or there is a third option. So they say, do you work or study? You say, well, I am a student at the moment. I'm doing graduation or I'm a student. I've completed my intermediate and now I'm preparing for IELTS test. Very short to the point one to two sentence answer. Now, don't start there. Do you work or study? Some people work, some people study. Those who work, they get salaries. Those who study, they don't get salaries. Not like this, okay? Don't take it as an opportunity. And never start like a surely. You know, surely they ask a question. You know, the examiner will say, Baskar, Baskar, Kloja. Not like this, okay? So, you should answer as they ask you. If your answer will be short, examiner will say, why? If your answer will be long, examiner will say thank you. Okay, thank you means. Okay. 
<laughs> means chup kar ja yeah, but thank you and when they say why why means speak more give more explanation so for ielts speaking part 1 the first thing is you need to understand the tense of the question if they say do you which tense is it present did you past will you have you with third form of the verb present perfect how long have you been present perfect continuous so you should be familiar with these tenses so the first thing is answer the question in the same tense they ask you don't change the tense and second whatever the words they have used in the question try to use the synonyms of those words whatever the words are try to use synonyms of those words if they use the word leisure activity you say free time activity you say extra time you say spare time or any other word like that so try to use number 1 use different words number 2 give a variety of words to the examiner related to that if they ask you questions about your free time give a variety of words related to free time if they ask you any question about your favorite city for city you can say metropolitan city populous city populous populous metropolitan these type of words are related to city so use appropriate words as per the topic and you will get good pen score and whenever you answer make sure you are using compound sentences don't use simple sentences simple sentences i have a bottle it is nice i use this bottle every day something like that but compound sentences are i have a water bottle which was gifted by my mother on my last birthday i use this water bottle every day because nowadays the weather is warmer and i need to keep myself hydrated noticed i joined three senses together so this type of sentence structure will bring you high bench score otherwise i have a cow it has four legs it gives milk it has two eyes <laughs> will bring you five or maximum 5.5 bench score so compound sentences if you don't know how to make compound sentences before that you need to learn five basic sentence structures present indefinite present simple past simple future simple present perfect and present perfect continuous these five tenses are extremely important for ielts speaking as well as ielts writing and after learning these five structures then you can focus on compound sentences and compound sentences are very easy with the help of fan boys f a n b o y s it's an acronym with each letter there is a word so once you watch a 10 minute tutorial you'll be clear and on your speaking day listen to the question understand the tense of the question use appropriate words answer in 5 to 6 sentences and you will see magic you will get very good bench score right okay thank you